We had Brock Lesnar as the champion of a brand, and we had Roman Reigns as the champion of another brand. Remember when that happened before the Royal Rumble? Yeah. And uh, it looked patently obvious to me, which is foolish because nothing is obvious in WWE, but it looked patently obvious that WrestleMania was going to be Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, title versus title. I was then told in early January, it's not title for title. <laughs> I thought... Okay. I mean, I'm not doubting it, but it's just one of those things where, so you're not planning a title versus title match, but you're planning the match and they're both champions. And literally both of them have stated that they want to do title versus title on television. Why are you, and this is funny because Vince hates this. Why are you building something up that you're not going to deliver? Well, with the idea of their inevitable WrestleMania 38 clash now needing something new, WWE is considering making Lesnar versus Roman Reigns a title versus title match. Dave Meltzer reported the news in the latest Observer newsletter. He said the original plan did not have a title versus title stipulation, but, quote, plans change so frequently. He said the feeling is that because the two have had done the match before, this encounter would need something extra added to it. That would increase the importance of this month's Elimination Chamber, as Lesnar would need to win the WWE title, currently held by Bobby Lashley, at the Chamber match that both men are part of. I talked about this Monday after Raw. I was like, why is Lesnar in the Chamber? He's either got to win the title, and then fans are going to expect title versus title, so you either have to do title versus title, or what's the point of even doing the match? It's even worse if you do Roman versus Lesnar title, champion versus champion, and no titles on the line. How can you possibly care about that? So Lesnar either needs to lose or he needs to win the title and go title versus title. So maybe on Monday they'd already made this decision. But Vince is going to make the final call, obviously. But, uh, yeah. He says the original plan was not to split Heyman and Lesnar, but that with the Heyman, or Heyman Reigns dynamic being so strong... And Lesnar not back full-time, it was inevitable. The original plan for their reunion changed due to Reigns getting COVID-19 and he needed to pull off the day one. So as I expected, what they were going to do on day one, but they couldn't do because Roman had COVID, they did at the Royal Rumble. So there you go. It's got to be title versus title. It has to be. Right? Am I the only yes. one? No. Do something that be. makes sense once, for God's sake, please. Plus, you know, maybe we can, like, fantasy book that into being one step closer to them getting rid of the brand split if there was only one world champion. At the very least, you would have either Roman Reigns or Brock Lesnar on both shows. That would be the fantasy, although it really doesn't matter anyway, because what does the brand split mean? It means nothing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. But you know what? They made a billion dollars when they had a brand split, so damn it, it must be the brand split. Hmm. Bro, listen, if you want to do your stupid, useless, pointless brand split that has zero positives, fine. I don't care. But unify the titles and at least have the champion go back and forth if he needs to. Like, I don't get it. Bro, how many times have we just seen people going back and they have every excuse in the book to have people go back and forth? Oh, it's Rumble season. Next is going to be Mania season. Then it's Survivor Series season. Then it's sewing season. We sew... <laughs> Our oats before they're whatever. But anyway, God, just unify these brands and make it easy on yourselves. If you want to keep everybody on a specific brand, like, you can. You can do anything because it third day in a row. It's fake. You can do whatever you want. If you want to have Drew only, if you want to have Ronda only on whatever, have them only on that show. But don't have a brand split. So if you need them on Raw, you can put them on Raw. So they're going to come up with some stupid excuse every month for why so-and-so showed up on the other show. It wasn't but they the made a billion dollars, so it must be working. It wasn't the whole part of the brand split to, you know, originally to create new stars that, you know, could flourish because, you know, there wouldn't be all that log jam Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of good that's done. Not a damn bit of good. My heart rate's low. That's why I can get away with screaming every day. Hmm. What are you checking it for? You have an Apple Watch, didn't it tell you? 60 beats a minute. Hmm. It's the only reason anybody wears a watch anymore. It's either for fashion or for exercise purposes. Nobody uses it to tell time. They always just pull out their phone. 
Some of us don't carry our phones 24-7, Mike. Again, maybe it's just that as a Canadian who has always had health insurance, this doesn't seem, Max, smart enough to this, be a big this deal. This is going to go to the best of right here, Lance. Yeah. You're being corralled away by uh, by this dog. By a dog trying to eat my wife's uh, boots. Oh, man. Oh, they said they must be tasty. Yeah, if my wife gets home and her good leather boots are chewed up, I'm dead. You'll be chewed up next. Yeah, I'll be living outside with the dog. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.